Hi kids, it's Anne from the South Boston Boys and Girls Club. As the arts director, so many people have come to me and said, I can't draw. So today I want to share with you a book by one of my favorite authors who will show us that yes, we can all draw. My book is Ed Emberley's drawing book of animals. This is a picture of Ed. It says, for the boy I was, the book I could not find. So Ed thought he could not draw, but he went on to find a way that he could teach other people to draw. And he wrote over 80 books on the topic. If you can draw these shapes, letters, numbers, and things, shapes, letters, numbers, and things, you will be able to draw all the animals in this book. For instance, in order to draw this polywog, you will need to use these. In order to draw this bird, you will need to use these. The diagrams on the following pages will show you how. Happy drawing at Emberley. So let's see how he does this. Okay, he's starting us off very simply how to draw an ant. We need one black dot to make an ant. But he also shows us how to make brown ants, green ants, brown ants wearing green sweaters, and ants saying hi. Here are some other simple shapes. An S can be a worm, or it can be a snake. We can add a dot for an I, we can add a Y for the snake's tongue. Over here we have a spider. We need an orange dot, two green dots, two black dots, eight letter C's, one I, and one U. And here he's also showing us how we can give our animals some other sort of personality or show an emotion. Let's get started. Let's see. I think it would be fun to draw this turtle. So let's look and see what kind of shapes do we need. We need the letter D, but the D is on its side. So I'm going to draw it that way. And I'm going to make it bigger than the book. And so this needs to be all entirely green and I'm just going to kind of scribble this right now because I don't want to take up too much time coloring, but when you make yours, obviously, you'll take much more time and be a lot neater than me. So what am I going to need after I finish this D shape? I am going to need two letter C's and four I's. And I do not have a brown pencil, so I'm going to use this one right now. So the lines are the legs, the eye shapes. And my turtle has four legs. And then the C shapes are the tail and the head. Next, I need two black lines. That's the shell. And I need three eyes going this way. And the last thing I need is to give the turtle an eye. That was easy. Let's try another one. How about this frog? This looks like fun. So for my frog, again, I have to make the D on its side. And then I need two O's for the eyes. 
I need two more D's for his part of his legs here. And then we have four triangles, and these will make his feet. Let's see where to put them. One here, here, and two in the middle. Okay, what's next? Oh, it's two eyes to show his legs and an orange mouth which is the letter U upside down and then we have some dots two little ones for the nose two bigger ones inside of his eyes And he's pretty much done. We can make him into a croaking frog or a sleeping frog if we're interested. So if you don't have any of these books, when you find something you want to draw, look for the shapes that you can find. So I have this rabbit and I can see his body is a circle. His head is another circle. I might use the letter U for his feet and his paws, dots for eyes, I see a V shape for his nose, and maybe some bigger U shapes for his ears. I googled at Emberly and found out that he is from Massachusetts and he went to the same college that I did. If you go to Ed Emberly, uh, look for his drawing pages, and you can find lots more of his animals and some of his other books. Happy drawing!